1995, the school district in Dublin, Ohio, found it necessary to expand and build a new high school. The Scioto River became a natural boundary between the two schools. Dublin High School would become Dublin Kaufman. The new high school would be named Dublin Scioto. The divide between the schools would become the beginning of a storied rivalry. The administration wanted seniors to be in uh, both schools. Uh, a key group of the senior football players along with the coaching staff uh, came to Scioto. I think we've always embraced uh, the fact that we're on the other side of the river. Every week we broke down with the word believe and uh, those kids really bought into that and when we broke down regardless of when it was or where it was we always broke down with the word believe. That was a, a, a focus and a centerpiece uh, for that team that year. We went on to win a state championship that year uh, led by Nick Goings and, and a, lot of, a lot of great players that have uh, set the benchmark uh, for the school in the first year. Initially, the district was reluctant to let the two teams compete. They wanted to have that uh, sense of community and not sense of rivalry. And then when we played Dublin Kaufman in 2003 in the regional championship, I think that gave our guys an opportunity to show uh, their talents and show that uh, they could compete against anybody. Everybody had us pegged to lose because Kaufman was such a stellar team that year. We were good, but we didn't know we were as good as we were. Oh man, we were, we were so ecstatic. We wanted to do it for the longest time. We could never, we never as players understood why we could never play Kaufman. We never were ranked preseason and Kaufman was always like one, two or three. So we felt like we really had something to prove here. Uh, great football game. Eric Yates having a huge run. Uh, we, we ran a bootleg right out of the backfield and for whatever reason, their linebacker didn't cover me. And I was just shocked to catch the ball and turn it up and run down the sidelines for a touchdown. A lot of what I remember too is the end of the game with 50 seconds to go and the clock ticking down and the students pouring out of the stands. And there was just absolute delirium on the field after that game. It was, uh, it was a highlight. It's been something I know our kids always long for won an opportunity to beat Kaufman uh, just because of that whole mentality of the river. In Dublin, there's been a lot of snot going around, talk going around amongst the Dublin schools, so to play them again is going to be real good, get our respect back in Dublin. The Scioto River was not the only boundary that created a natural rival for Dublin Scioto. When uh, Scioto was going to open, uh, Worthington Kilborn, who was the head coach, was Jeff Gafford, who was a Dublin graduate, uh, saw a natural rivalry uh, with a school that's two miles away. Two miles of road separates two schools with storied programs. Great coaches, great young men, playing their hearts out on a Friday night for a piece of asphalt. It was all about that piece of asphalt, man. So as they were building uh, Hard Road, he came out one day and, and got a big piece of asphalt. And so the, the trophy uh, looks like Hard Road. It's painted to look like Hard Road. Each winner is put onto the trophy uh, each year, and the winning school keeps that trophy uh, until they lose it. Uh, they just consider us the River Rats, and they don't like us. We don't like them, so. Uh, the Kill One Robbery to me means going out there battling the people that uh, live across the road, across the street. Whoever wins that rivalry has the title to brag for 365 days of being the Hard Road Champion. It's a rivalry game. It's a little more physical. And the hitting's tougher, so I really found out what it was to play varsity football against Kilborn. These rivalry games not only bring the team together, but they also bring the school and community together as well. We really are a family, and we stick together and we support each other. Well, I think, uh, you know, there's natural emotion that builds up within the team itself, uh, but those kind of games, whether you're playing Kaufman or whether you're playing Kilborn, uh, the student body really rallies behind uh, their team and their school, regardless of the season overall, winning that game uh, means, the, means a tremendous amount to those seniors. We designed our uniform with the rivalries in mind. The black pants and the jersey represent the two miles of hard road to the east toward Kilbourne and the two miles over the river toward Kaufman. The Kelly silver and the white on the sleeves are our school colors. The orange and the fly wire symbolize the town's Irish heritage. And finally, the word believe on the pant leg recognizes our 95 team that believed that we could achieve greatness and won the state championship. Uh -huh.